Hi Booktube, it's Stephanie. So let's talk about all the books that I got in February. And the theme for February seems to have been sequels. Because in total, uh, not counting the ones where I got like book one as well, like I already owned book one. I got nine of them. And of said series, I have started um, two of them and I fin, uh, well, yeah, two of them and I finished one of them. That, that sounds really bad. So let's start with these sequels just to get them out of the way. Now, obviously, since they are sequels, I can't really talk to you too much about them because I don't really want to read about them because I have not started the series. Yeah, you can notice my um, problem here. But all of them basically... I think all of them. Yeah, all of them I got on the February sale, book sale that we have each year in Sweden in the end of February. I feel like it started early this year, but because usually it's the same week that you get your salary. This one, this time it was the week before. So, but yeah. And even though this is a lot of books, including the ones that then arrived in March, it's still less than last year, so at least that's something. So let's start with Empire Ascendant by uh, Cameron Hurley. This is book two in the World Breaker saga. Book one was the Mirror Imp Empire, and I still do want to read it, but yeah. On the sale, what to say about it. And basically it follows... The first book basically takes place when this big omen that follows a bunch of death and destruction happens. Yeah, I'm not going to read, but basically this, uh, since this is a sequel, it will obviously follow the events that happens in book one. The next one we have here is The Devil's Teeth by Lisa Maxwell. The first one was The Lost Magician, and this one is a time-traveling story in which the main character travels back in time to save magic or tra uh, books something like that i don't really remember because it's somewhere on these shelves and i need to sort them um yeah i'm still really interested in book one obviously and this is again a YA series that sound a little bit more adult so i'm crossing my fingers will not mind it and it's also definitely the thickest book on this list and yeah it should be yeah it's almost 700 pages so yeah this is the thickest book i got this time and yeah it was on the sale so i got it what to say my plan wasn't by the way to end with the ones that i have at least started and or finished the first book in but apparently that's how i put that's how i put the books um the next one we have here is um the Cradle of Ice by James Rollins. The first book is The Starless Crown, which, okay, I have covered it up. I have it right there. And yeah, this follows the events of that one, so I have no idea. But um, yeah, it's a survival story and an adventure story in one. And I'm still, even though I've heard so so things about the first book, I'm still interested in it. So yeah, and since they had this um, uh, 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 the hardback I decided to get it I didn't used to care about those things but now I do because I watched booktube but yeah so yeah I'm hoping that I will like this so that I yeah it's the same with all of these sequels I hope I will like it but yeah so the next one I actually remember more about and that is The Gilded Cage by Lynette Noni I think that the only reason why this one also was on the sale was because it was broken. I have taped this up. But this is the sequel to uh, The Prison Healer. And in that one, the main character, it's another YA. Again, why do I keep on buying YA? At least we have one, two that are definitely adult here. Um, but this one, in the first book, we have a main character that's an inmate at this prison and she is the prison healer and one day the leader of the rebellion gets transported to this prison and she gets a message from her family that she needs to keep the queen alive 
the queen is very sick and dying and they want her to go through these trials that no one really has survived and she takes this uh, uh, rebel leader's place and this is the sequel i love these covers by the way for this series but yeah another ya why do i keep on getting them don't ask but yeah i am just cross my fingers that i really like this series because it sounds like i should be liking it so the next one i have here is the uh, well it, it's a duology so this will finish up the duology for me and that is um, the rookery by deborah hewitt which is the sequel to the night jar okay it peeped and in the first book we have a person who wakes up there's a bunch of dead bodies around and finds a note that says the body you used to the body you now possess used to be mine sequel yes i, I just <laughs> i want my reading mojo to come back please do because i feel like i have Oh, there's the last magician. I feel like I have so many good options. But yeah, now to the sequels that, you know, I've started. Let's go with the one that I kind of soft slash hard DNF apparently since I haven't continued it. Um, and that is The Hawkling by Rebecca Sahabi. And this is the sequel to the Colorbound. There we go. And the color bound, uh, I got that as a um, arc first, an e-arc, um, but I just did not finish it in time. And I really liked it. I would say it's a weird combination. I found that I find that the first book is a strange, cozy fantasy because it's not a lot of action. It tackles serious objects like slavery and things like that. The title is color bound and uh, discrimination and suppression and things like that so it's serious topics but something about it just feels very cozy and i need right now some more action which is why i have not picked it up again but yeah this is the sequel and again it was on the sale and it's hardcover and again i have a thing with hot covers now because of booktube i swear i used to be able to just be like oh this is on sale and it's not matching. Ah, oh, well, let's read it. But yeah, I do want to finish Colorbound so that I can continue on with this series. Next, we have some um, middle grade. And this is some Swedish ones. And this we have here is Fultonet um, i Alexandria and then Gömda Dalen, both by Fredrik Bajstom and illustrated by uh, Filippo Vanso. So this is book two and three are uh, in this, um, uh, let's see here, Eagle People Secret series. Um, this is technically a sequel series. I have not read the first series, which, I, yeah, that happens. But yeah, uh, I did enjoy the first book, so I am looking forward to continue on with it. And if nothing else, this might be something I can read to my niece. Um, but yeah, I do enjoy the, let me just, I do like the illustrations that are in here. I just really like the illustrations and I enjoyed, I really liked the first book. I realized I missed a sequel. I, uh, I again, one that's not part, that I have not read the first book in the series. And that's Peter Newman. And this is The Rootless, which is the sequel to The Deathless. I, I'm not even going to look at the back of this because I don't remember anything about the Deathless, which makes me really excited to read it because I then don't read the back of the books unless I need to fulfill some kind of prompt. But I have no idea what this is about. <laughs> All I know was that I just, I remember the hype I had for the first book. Like I really want to read it. And now I don't remember why I want to read it, but that just makes me more curious. But yeah, this is the sequel to The Deathless. So I cleaned the background for a new set of books and my food just arrived. So yes, 
So let's start with uh, a book that I heard when it came out. I heard quite a lot about it and then I haven't really heard anyone talk about it. And that would be Absent by uh, Brendan P. Bellicourt. I don't know if that's how to pronounce it. But in this one we are following a person who... Well, there has been a war and then this is set in this like steampunky, at least not according to the synopsis, steampunky world in which the main character has managed to land a job with one of the richest families and this book starts off when he is at this club and drinks absence. Some people uh, basically some kills yeah, the green liquor rumor to cause hallucination, madness, even death. Some it kills, others it transforms. But in Liam's case, something different can take place. A wheel has lifted and he can see the world without these illusions. And the government is hiding things. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Because again, I heard a lot of people talking about it when it came out and then basically silence. Next, we have two um, SF, uh, SF masterworks by Ursula K. Le Guin, the first one being The Latter of Heaven, in which we are following a therapist who has this client who can alter the reality when he sleeps. Yeah, for your dreams alter reality. And in the beginning, yeah, but then he starts to manipulate things to change it to his liking because this is a post-apocalyptic thing with overcrowding and things like that yeah initially just to advance his own career but then gaining confidence to try to change their overcrowded world into a more attractive place so yeah this is one of those classics that i do want to get to and when it's cost 30 swedish crowns you buy it the next one we have here is a novella collection and that is uh, Worlds of Exile and Illusions. And this one contains um, Volcanos World, Planet of Exiles, and City of Illusions. And I don't really want to read about them. Uh, they apparently take place in the world of the Left Hand of Darkness and the Dispossessed. I have not read either of one of those, but these are apparently some of the first novellas that she wrote. So I'm optimistic that I will like them, but also it's the beginning of the career, so yeah. And speaking of classics, these were, well, two of them were on the sale. I got the first one, that one, full price, because that one was not part of the sale. And then I learned that it's four books, so now I need to order the last one. But here we have Nevermancer. Mona Lisa Overdrive and Count Zero by William Gibson and this one is a cyberpunk novel and yeah yeah cyberpunk novel and let's see here again classic does it have what it does not have what's about I do not remember, to be fair. Part thriller, part warning. Yeah. And, okay. The sky above the port was the color of television, tuned to a dead channel. Yeah. This is one of those, when I look through the Hugo, Nebula, and fa uh, Fancy Award lists, um, I have a product with them. Uh... This was one that I was really excited for. <laughs> but yeah, I am looking forward to this. I just need to get one more book for that series. Let's put them here. They have more place here. And lastly, <laughs> the manga. So I got um, the start of two manga series. Yeah. So let's start with um, the one that seems the most grim draw. Uh, Grim Dark, and that is um, the who loves while uh, walking the path of vengeance a second time by Nero 
Kizuka. No, it light novel, for, sorry. Um, the other one is. And this is volume one, The Traitor's Princess. And then the sequel, The Mad Spellcaster. Basically, this follows um, a person who, again, got reborn into a world, defeated the bad guy, and then was portrayed. And then he was reborn again. Now he wants revenge. It sounded so cool. So yeah, I am um, definitely, yeah. And basically when he gets killed, he becomes insane. Yeah, it sounds so good. <laughs> Next one we have here again, volume one, two, and three of The Great Cleric. Volume two looks like that and volume three and basically this falls again a person from our world who dies and gets reincarnated into this world where he decides that he wants to become a healer the great cleric but he knows how to make money in this world he does not know anything about the world he has ended up in so yeah this one just sounded wholesome. So yeah, those were all the books that I got in the month of February. And that arrived in the month of February. Yeah, it was worse last year. Let me just say that. But yeah, what did you get in February? Is there any of them that you are really looking forward to? Please tell me down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.